Hello gentle viewers and welcome back to This Is The Police. Yes, Projectionist accidentally plays porn at Last Picture Show. Sure. There's a crocodile in a river and the government's poisoning people's food. So that's fun. Um, last time we played, uh, we got some pretty big changes in Jack's uh, lifetime and we're going to see what's going to happen to him now. Go to work with our fancy new sports car. Interesting. Uh, Beasley, you can have a day off. No. Yes. Okay. Why did Hogue just not show up? That's really weird. And troubling. For several years, we've been constantly warning about the LGB organization. What's coming? From. We dismiss them fairly. <sighs> I have to send people to this. I can't ignore it. Oh, damn. I don't want to be that kind of guy. But I also don't want to get fired either. Oh, God. You know what? I'm going to tell them to go fuck themselves. I don't care how angry you are, Mayor. You're a little bitch. Alright. We got a really good cop there. Let's hire one for- let's hire you for shift B. And I guess we'll put you on shift A. That seems reasonable to me. I'm sorry, I'm Mayor. Oh, running phone calls. Well, look, Paget said- said he's gonna feed lead to her whole family. There's some men laughing in the background. I'm quite a well-known political activist in free versus the... No! I am not sending this many people just for some threatening phone calls and SWAT. That seems like bullshit to me. Yeah. Oh, shit! Well... I had that coming. Oh, dear. Oh yeah, they're definitely ramping up the pressure in this game now. Which is fine, I thought the beginning part was too easy, but... Uh, I just read that in my head, is it her being some person trying to seem fancy? I'll send a couple of cops to this one. Prostitution. But then again, the last time I blew one of these off, it ended very badly. So I'm gonna take it a little more seriously. Damn, this is but this is a shitty start to the day, right? We got a civilian killed. The mayor hates us. wonder why people aren't getting enough rest. I think it all happened when he was in his coma. Let's get the school's principal. Got it. Good work, gentlemen. Oh, I feel so bad about that first one now, damn. Damn, damn, damn. You're wondering why I'm not spending more of my money to, like, improve my cops? It's because I have to have 500 grand by the end of the game. 
Dozens of zombies are roaming the park. Vampires, Freeburgers, Doomed, Send in the Nash. No! Mate, I'm eventually gonna learn, but today is apparently not that day. I am not sending cops because you think fucking zombies are coming after you. There's probably another movie stone. Okay. But say, it would be just like this game to have actual fucking zombies just like eat everyone. You know, like you're fired because everyone's dead. Uh, I have 180 days to make 500 grand. I've got to make 10 times more money. Hmm. Okay, this is somewhat serious. So I'm going to send you, 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 you. SWAT seems excessive, but I don't want to take any chances. Suspicious individual. Black guy in the hood following her. It's just a dude in a hood. No. That's ridiculous. I'm not going to send the police just because there was some dude walking behind you. This bastard is still lurking in the park. I think it was just some dude. That's my opinion. <sighs> God damn it. Oh yeah, we are most definitely going to this one in force. Damn, they have, they're really making it harder to tell the difference between the false alarms and not the false alarms. It's a smart place to go to everything, right? God, you racist. Damn. Okay, two new frames. It's still not nearly enough, though. Because the one guy definitely said it was gray. Yeah, we need more photos of the gray truck. I think we're going to wait a little bit longer on the hit and run. Uh, yeah, this is going to be the last call we get tonight, so I will absolutely send everyone to it. Like, me personally, I would rather lose the game than just arrest a bunch of people just because they're protesting and they happen to be, you know, gay or whatever it was they said. Alright, yeah, we're definitely going to need to make sure we're not going to, um, having Shero come in the next day might be a good idea. But I don't think we're going to be solving that particular crime anytime soon. Roger Sonsel for Free Break PD Breakdown. I will bring order to the police station. My dancers are all feminists. A bunch of the mayors are going to can my ass. All the information about Laura, just like you asked. Mr. Boyd, keep your voice down. Someone could be listening. Oh, I'm sorry, Emma. It's my first time doing something like this. Here's the envelope. Everything's in there. Fine. Mr. Boyd, please write for Mr. Fry on this envelope and drop it in the mailbox across the street. What? I don't want this handled like it's some kind of game. Mr. Boyd, those are the rules. Now please, lower your voice. God, Sorry. Jack. Uh, okay, Emma. I'll put this envelope in the mailbox across the street, just like you said. <clears throat> Wonder how that damn Mr. Fry is gonna get an envelope out of the mailbox. Talking to yourself, Mr. Boyd? And we thought we'd have to catch you at the police station. But it turns out Jack Boyd has come down to meet us personally. Do you know why we're here, Mr. Boyd? 
I don't even know who you are. My name is Eugene Chaffee. I'm a businessman. Rather, a restaurateur. Although I usually tell everyone I'm a businessman. Uh, which sounds better, businessman or restaurateur? Oh, I think I've heard of you. You have a restaurant and a slaughterhouse. Uh, and you serve refried veal steaks. <laughs> well, refried veal steaks isn't my Ew. only business. But perhaps it's what I'm best known for. I thought it was time we meet Mr. Boyd and my friend here. I believe you're already acquainted. His name is Troy Star. Never heard of him. So what do you want, Mr. Chaffee? Looking for a spokesman for your beef products? <laughs> I recently changed my image and my hair. Eugene and I really want to help you, Mr. Boyd. Although after our phone call, I've had my doubts. I was making love to my wife and you called me and told me to fuck myself. That kind of behavior is rude and inappropriate, Mr. Boyd. <laughs> I didn't mean to offend you, Mr. Starr. Just thumbing my nose at that prick mayor of ours. You keep making love to your wife, or uh, <laughs> did I ruin the mood? There's a nice cafe around the corner. Spare us a couple of minutes of your time, Mr. Boyd. <laughs> Lately, I've been so busy that I rarely get to sit and relax in such a nice place. And with such interesting company. Get to the point, Mr. Chaffee. I'm busy, too. In fact, I think I hear some teenagers next door robbing and raping an old woman. Maybe she's your aunt. <laughs> you see, Mr. Boyd. Good morning. What do you want? A big mug of beer. We don't serve big mugs of beer. Then a small mug of beer. <laughs> we don't have beer in any size glasses. This is a family restaurant. Moms and dads come with small children. I can bring you a lollipop to suck on. Monica, where's your famous charm? Bring the gentleman a beer. I'm sure you've got a bottle under the counter. Check between the dead cats and the dried heads of your ex-boyfriends. This man, by the way, is your police chief. Don't be silly. The police chief has a bald spot the size of a toilet seat. <laughs> so, as I were... Oh, I'm sorry, Eugene. It's Rogers. Probably forgot how to wipe his ass. <laughs> when you're 82, Troy, you'll probably forget you need to wipe your ass at all. But very well. Run along. We can continue without you. So, Mr. Boyd, as you may already know, the official job of my old friend Mr. Star is to cause trouble for you. <laughs> but believe me, it's not out of malice. It's to maintain his cover at City Hall. But to somewhat balance out this trouble, I've decided to help you out. Every day, pay close attention to your morning newspaper, Mr. Boyd. You'll find messages hidden among the pages. Simple notes, but make no mistake, the information you'll find there is extremely hmm. useful. <laughs> you see, Troy Star isn't my only spy. Um... That's it, Mr. Boyd. I told you it would only take a couple of minutes. I wouldn't want to disturb you while you're enjoying your drink. Keep in touch, my dear little cupcake. <laughs> oh, yes. I'm quite good at puns. Good! <sighs> Never imagined what meeting Robespierre would be like. But I certainly didn't figure the first thing he'd do was buy me a drink. Getting them to serve a beer at a family cafe? And this Robespierre has some strange superpowers. Strange, but not entirely useless. Yeah, well... No! God, of all the lazy ass excuses, I can fire her the moment I get a better cop, so I'm not too stressed by her. Nine eleven in progress. A theft. Kind car with bricks. Yeah, we gotta take this one kind of seriously. Nine ten, me and 
progress. He came through the gate with knife to me and of all I tried to run, but he caught me. Yeah, we better treat this seriously too. I'll send Barton though. Something at suburb at eleven forty, five hundred bucks. Fell down an elevator shaft. Push him in. Easy, kid. It's a long way down. Gotta go for the one-liner, right? I don't know if I like this city's police force. Like, just shove him in. It's fine. Uh, no. There is no way on earth those are drugs. It's white powder at a restaurant. It's probably fucking salt. Um. No. How do you confuse salt for cocaine? Like, I could maybe see flour for cocaine. But salt? <sighs> yeah, I'm not giving that person dead cops. I'm not going to purposely kill cops. This is the thing he wants me to let happen? Yeah, I'm gonna let that go, just because that sounds funny. It's only 500 bucks, but you know... I still hope no one ends up dead. Oh shit, a double homicide. Let's get Mole, Tar, and Brzezinski on there. Four, it was a wasp. Wow. That happened. That definitely happened. It's 11 in progress. He's very vulgar and follows her around. I'm gonna send a couple cops to this one. There's nothing else that's demanding our time. And there's only two people required. I've got to take the chance that it might be a rape when I've got the people 11, to 11, investigate it. Ooh. Let me take a look at the drug manufacturing first. Ooh. Yeah, that guy is kind of a dick. Let's go take care of that. I think we will respond to this after um, Barton gets back. We'll send the lowest four ranked cops. I could use the cash. There we go. Progress. Oh shit, disorderly conduct. I hear from my wall the trumpeting of angels. Oh, the Lord comes, behold his glory. The television was right now. You're off your nut, lady. Yeah, we'll send some reinforcements. I can't. Oh shit, we're running out of cops, because I took the one thing seriously. Oh damn. Yep. And they all had a bunch of cake, and now they're all drunk. God damn it. Oh, they're four grand, that's not nothing. 
It's a robbery, so no one's likely to get killed. And we stopped the drug manufacturing, which was by far the more serious crime. We got a ficus? Sure. Yeah, the robbery I feel kind of bad about. We'll take a look at the public indecency one here in a minute. A musical school student playing the tuba. Tubas and trumpets are nothing alike, mate. Uh, yeah, we will definitely be sending someone. Oh shit, they're all drunk. I'll send Barton. Oh god, this is gonna end badly like it did last episode. I'm having nightmares. No new frames found. We're gonna wait one more day before we try to put the pieces together. Because we know it's a gray truck, and I just don't think we have enough slides involving a gray truck. Barton, please don't kill yourself. I probably shouldn't have sent the drunk person to handle it, in all honesty. That was maybe a bad idea. So we're supposed to be watching the newspaper, right? For hints? Bike ride. Oh, here we go. So the Mafia kind of likes us. City Hall kind of hates us. We don't know what people in the police station think. Interesting. That's still handy, and it means we got to kind of butter up the mayor a little bit. No. No. God, these are some weak-ass excuses. Military honors for cops that died because they got drunk? I don't think that's that's appropriate, but sure. Oh yeah, that's serious. They actually assaulted him. We'll send Klossner, Joxy, and Vandal. Guys, it's teenagers throwing rocks. You have guns. How many do you need? Hey, Hode came back. That was weird. 9-11 in progress. This is probably bullshit, but we're going to take it mildly seriously. Good work. It's a nice chirpy, chippy little tune. I like it. Oh, I want to make sure we add some additional detectives to the double homicide. To make sure we've got people on both ships working on it. There we go. Looks like we have a situation here. Let's ask for tea and calmly interrogate the couple. But did we get the tea? Damn. Four eleven in progress. Locked herself in. Yeah, we can't take we can't take any chances. Cros Crosby and Yield Dream, I think I need to live. Yield Dream backwards is Miradilly. So you have that to think about. Eleven ten is progress. Smuggling. Oh shit, yes.
God damn it. Yeah, shots are fired. That gets max response. No hesitation on that. Hope that doesn't turn out to be a false alarm. Whoa, back up? Jesus. Ugh. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to respond to that. Sorry, jewelry store. But I got people getting shot at, so... I'm not fucking around with that. And some booze. Let's take it back to the police station. Sorry about the theft. I mean... I had to make a choice, and I think I made the right one. Progress. Armed robbery. Oh shit, yeah, that's something serious. As soon as my cops get back, I will send a full squad to take that care, take care of that. And you'll get my very best. I hear the word gun, I take it seriously. One new frame. Alright, we have ten frames, and there's only so many you can get. What is in this photograph? Oh, was he carrying a briefcase? Yeah, definitely went through the windshield. Motorcycle tire tracks. Gray Jeep with a cracked windshield. Okay. Do we have the detective? We do. Let's go get him. But we never saw that motorcycle tire tracks thing. That's very suspicious. I got the armed robber. That matters quite a bit, I think. Oh, the ba the mafia is not going to be happy about this. Got him. That's not going to go poorly at all when the mafia finds out. Wow, the Mafia is still kind of okay with it. Birds of a feather flock together. Okay. Christ icon discovered in Foundation. Increased garbage. Hockey strike. Ooh, plot. What's this, Martin? Think that'll cover breakfast? Good lord, Jack. You should knock. <laughs> Don't worry, Martin. 
I don't care what kind of business you're up to. Although on second thought, scratch that. I'm very interested in your business. In fact, that's why I'm here. Do you have a lot of connections? Uh, depends on what you need. I want to keep my job. I've got another five years in me, at least. I want to prove my dismissal is illegal. You know someone who can help? Uh, Jack, are you sure you want to get involved in this... this fight? Martin, let's not, uh... Got yourself a new toy? Oh, you noticed, Martin. Just like a teenager. Always on the move. Yeah. Hello. Is this Mr. Boyd? Last I checked, who's this? And where did you get my personal number? Um... When you work at the prosecutor's office, it's not too hard to find someone's phone number. The prosecutor's office? Uh, just a second. Martin, out. I need to take this. But Jack, it's my office. <laughs> okay, okay, I understand. I'll go grab an ice cream. As for your little problem, Jack, I think we can work something out. Give me a couple of weeks. Weeks? Jack, what you're asking is... Yeah, okay, I get it. Now get out already. <laughs> he just throws him out of his own office. Oh, Jack. I'm sorry, what did you say your name was? I, um... My name is Lana. Lana Berman. I'm the deputy prosecutor of Freeburg. Well, one of the deputies. Not even the first deputy to tell you the truth. How can I help you, Ms. Berman? Um... <sighs> I don't know how to say this, Mr. Boyd. You see, Mr. Boyd, I I'm in line to be the next prosecutor of Freeburg, and, and apparently that's happening quite soon. Soon? Shea Broom was just re-elected for a new term. Yes, but she'll be resigning in February. She's, she's suffering from a heart condition, so she's chosen a replacement to carry out her term. That's not suspicious. She chose me. You have no idea of the scandal, Mr. Boyd. I've only been at the prosecutor's office for half a year, and she chose me. It's incredible. That really is unbelievable, Miss Berman. Uh, but what's it got to do with me? Well, I understand how this call would seem strange to you, Mr. Boyd, but Mrs. Broom said she... Well, she said that you have a lot going on, but you're the most honest official in the city. And if I really want to change the city for the better, and I swear that's what I want, then I should meet you. I'm afraid Mrs. Broom was exaggerating. Oh, believe me, Mr. Boyd, Mrs. Broom is not one to exaggerate. I... I I'm sorry, Mr. Boyd, I need to run. Do you mind if I... well, if I call you later? Do I mind? Hmm, let me think. <laughs> no, I don't mind, Miss Berman. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Boyd. Hmm... I know you can't see his face, but there's probably a shit-eating grin right there. That's how I interpret it, anyway. Numata didn't come into work. Yes. Yes, I can. Oh, damn. I gotta let him do it. It's his daughter's wedding. You know what, Purdy? You've been around a while. Have a strike. Yeah. What else we got? I just listen to that one too. Here we go. I do like white Russians. Um, I think this will be the last. Oh, <gasps> yes! Alright, so we're basically going to have to kiss a lot of ass. Let's interrogate him. Oh, cool! Okay. Hope you identify his... Yeah, okay. Defective heart. Played football. Talking about his ballerina. There's a pacemaker. 
interesting. Bam! Yes, focus on- ooh! Your heart won't be able to handle prison. You've almost died once. Be a man and take responsibility for what you did. Damn it, he clammed up. Ah, uh, we'll go and just end the interrogation. Oh shit. It'll just fail outright? We got to do it. Ooh, this got super dark. He's got a pacemaker. Let's do the battery. Wow, did this get super dark? Okay. Wait. Oh, no, no, no. We gotta do physical. Shit. I forget which one is which. I think we just killed him. Reanimate him! Oh, we can induce heat. Let's use the water barrel. Oh god, I feel like such a jerk right now. He might be dead, but I also broke him. Whoops! So that went badly. Oh dear. Oh dear. Did I just use my only chance to get the fucking sands? Or am I just going to have to hope to get lucky? Noise from a garbage truck woke up a vagabond, and there was a fight. Yeah, let's take care of it. Oh no. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, I should have just let it end. I wonder if I focused more on skimming money off the top, it would have made a difference. He's rubbing all over me. I'll send a couple people. I'm not gonna send three, but I'll send a couple. Fight contained. Nice work, Officer Purdy. And Barton too, I guess. At least a little bit. Looks like we have a situation here. Let's go for the guy in the hood. Walk over the bunch of the red haired guy in the face. Let's tase him. Yeah, I kind of hope you die if you're that gullible. I'm sorry. Oh, damn. I'm in such trouble. I hope I get a ch another chance to get into that investigation. But that's a big organization. Public indecency. A crooked dick isn't his penis. It's a fucking bird or something. Oh no, or it's like a dessert or something. Oh shit! I should have taken that way more seriously. Whoops. Whoops. Yeah, alright. 
Damn it. I thought Crooked Dick was like a type of dessert or something. Oh, I'm thinking of Spotted Dick. Shit. Oh well. Man, we're, we're really kind of flubbing it today. Okay, dude has a gun, so we're definitely gonna go send people to this one. He went there for a hearing aid and said cocaine. I don't think he said the word cocaine. I'm gonna let this one go. Uh, yeah. He's armed. We're taking that seriously. Oh god, really? Helen Wheels Motor Show, broke the window, stole six luxury cars. We can go after him, but only if I get cops back. We've got a situation here. <laughs> Let's tackle him. Nice work, ladies. Oh, and there's an assault with a deadly weapon? Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to send people to that one. Throw down your weapon, you'll be reading all about it in the morgue. Nice. Until we get a copy of the book. Yeah, that one I knew was a false alarm. This one I'm sure isn't. I'm sorry, I don't have enough cops on to everything. I'm gonna wait a little bit longer to try to get more cops ready. One, two, three, four. Dark sedan speeding through red lights, swerving from side to side. Yeah, we'll look into it. It's probably a cop. He literally just called the police on the police, I suspect. I don't think we have enough yet. We'll just give it some extra time. You guys, hope you can sort it, because I don't have anyone else to send to you. Good work. Officer on scene. Looks like we have a situation here. Let's follow behind it. I'm going to tell him to block all the exits. He got away? Damn it. I got some drugs. I guess that's something. Oh, I should have had the Mafia sell it. I might have made him happier the fact that I kind of had his son killed, sort of? He doesn't need to know that, though. Right? I hope not. Let's end the day. I don't think this is where we'll end the episode, too. Oh, dear. Thank you very much for watching the episode. Um... I'll probably put, like, an NSFW warning here in the description, maybe, just to warn people, because that was kind of brutal. In a very in a very abstract sense, obviously, but I don't want to freak people out if they're, like, watching, like, eating breakfast or something and watching the video. Um, other than that, though, thank you, as always, for watching. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Feel free to drop a like and or a comment. Until next time, though, thank you again. This has been Avindian, and I bid you good day.